Sorry about that. Employment. Part. Tell us a little bit about your last three jobs. Well, I worked um, for Teach for America for two years. I worked with underprivileged urban Korean youths. Korean? Korean. Love the food. Anyway, after that, I went on to work as a paralegal in my dad's law firm, and I wrote my own photo blog on the side. You write a photo blog? I do. What kind of photos do you take? Well, primarily kittens, but I also do some landscaping as well. Sounds fascinating. Wow, what an incredible employment history. And you, Christina? Well, I also did Teach for America. Yeah, and speaking of urban areas, I worked in Detroit. That was 2004 to 2006. And then I got my MBA. And now I was a consultant in small, from small media, for small media uh, ventures in terms of uh, small businesses. Wow, it sounds like you are truly a hard worker. Your family must be so proud of you. Uh, <laughs> and you. Um, yes, I mean, I, I have a job. I, I work at H&M. At I'm the new store manager at the Union Square location. Um, before that, I was applying for some job placement programs in the Department of Youth and Community Development, but they wanted to place me in a job that was less than $9 an hour, so I said, no way. Um, but you, you said, work hard, and I've been doing that my whole life. I've, I've really been working since high school. Well, I think in many different ways. Retail is not the most stable of industries. Oh, we are. Yes. I've been working for the company for three years, and I just got promoted to manager. <laughs> Retail is not the most upwardly mobile job. And now, finally, the last section. We want to hear a little bit about where you want to live. That gives us an idea of who you are as a person. Make sure that we're making a sound investment. Well, I've been dreaming of a brownstone in Williamsburg. Oh, great cafes, beautiful neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I actually just got engaged, and so my fiance and I are living in Cobble Hill for starting out. Congratulations. So you're you're going to Cobble Hill. There's some hot real estate there. And you. And you. Well, I, I'd like to stay with my family in Flushing and, and find a, an apartment that we can all live in together. Your whole family in one apartment? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a tough price tag, especially with where you're at, right? I mean, you might want to think about living alone. All right. This is the part where I collect the applications. Please sign the last part. And I will look them over and see your credentials and decide who can achieve the American dream. Best part. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Emma, congratulations. <laughs> you not only met all of our credentials, but you exceeded our expectations. Thank you. Best of luck. <laughs> Christina, you didn't have exactly all the credentials we were looking for. But because of a diversity initiative, we're going to give you the loan. Thank you so much. I worked so hard for this. You're welcome. <laughs> you got some bad news. Fortunately, you have not accumulated enough wealth to secure the loan for a new home. But you said all I had to do is work hard. And that's what I've been doing my whole life. I don't think that this process is, is fair. Um, I'm feeling really threatened right now. <laughs> I've worked really hard, and it's not my fault that you've had a difficult life. You should just work harder. Exactly. You should just maybe work harder. You know, there's some things you have to know. You know, you might want to start with going back to school, getting a real degree, maybe then getting a real job, one that you can move up in, maybe beating up your resume with an internship. But I'm the manager. I have a job. And talking back less. <laughs> you can also sign up for our second seminar, just $5.99. $5.99? That's right. This conversation is over, as well as the seminar. Congratulations on your American dream. So what were some of the things that happened in the scene? What was that? Subprime loan? Yes. <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, race burden. Race burden. What else? Equality. What? Equality? Inequality. Inequality. Great. What else? SOS. SOS. Yeah. Expensive Same education. Same old shit. <laughs> what was that? Expensive education. Expensive education. Great. What else? 
Profiling. Profiling. White privilege. White privilege. Patronizing behavior. Patronizing behavior. Divide and conquer. What? Divide and conquer? Fantastic. Do you see things in this scene that if you were in the role of our protagonist, Jim Barra, would, that you might do something differently? Uh, I, I do that. See, you, you, but there's stuff that you might do differently if you were in that situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, so now I'm going to ask you, as I, as I said before, I'm going to ask you to choose one scene that resonates the most with you. So think about which one is, a, is an issue or a series of events that you feel the most connected to. If you feel most connected to our first Scene, the great capitalist swindle, raise your hand, nice and high. Okay, and if you feel more connected to the second scene, the uh, unsilencing racism, raise your hand high. Okay, well that's the scene we're going to work on then. Unsilencing racism, if you can start at the beginning, please. So this is how it's going to work. We're going to start the scene again from the top. And at any point in time that you would do something different than our protagonist, than Jim Bara, you need to say stop. Remember we practiced that earlier. This time say stop nice and loud. Try it with me. Stop. stop. Again. Stop. stop. One more time. Stop. stop. Fantastic. All right. Begin. Hello and welcome to our seminar, Building Wealth in America. We're going to secure a loan to buy a home to achieve the true American dream. Remember, those who work hard will be rewarded. Come on in. Hello, what is your name? My name is Emily. Emily. E-M-I-L-Y. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Next. Hi. Hi, what is your name? Maria Christina. Maria Christine. Okay, there's not enough room on here, so I'm just going to put Christine. Stop. 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 Okay. People would do something differently? Yes? Yes, her full name is Maria Christina. Write the whole thing down. <laughs> so for, just because we have short on time, we're going to focus on Jim Mara right at this moment, if that's okay. Um, while there's a lot of things that poor Maria Christina could definitely do in this moment, um, we're going to continue the scene, and as soon as Jim Mara comes on, think of what are the types of things you would do in her, in her spot. Okay. Christina, C H R I S T I N A. All right, let's get started. Sorry, sorry. Yep. What's your name? Jen Mora. J E N. Jen. It, it's actually J I N. It's just Korean. I don't know how to spell that. Here, you write it yourself. Go ahead, have a seat. Stop. Here, stop. Uh, Who said stop first? You did? Would you do something differently than Jim Barabi? Yeah, it sounds like you have to right off the bat like establish your your power and, and, and have respect in the conversation and say, um, you know, please, this is my name. I'd like my name to be represented on my name the same way as everyone else. So this is the challenge of theater of the oppressed. There's a lot of times where we talk, we, we get stuck in talking about things. We're going to actually try to do it. So you will stand up yeah. and take this space here. <laughs> And as we warn, you get to wear the magical lanyard. <laughs> Welcome! What is your name? Uh, Jim. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that he should not be taking the space? Okay, see, so can you say that again louder, please? Um, we shouldn't be trying to represent Jim if it's the. So, I'm saying you're saying this person should be changing. Yeah. Okay. So this is let me let's let's talk a little bit about the process um, because I think that's a good that's a good point. Um, we want this character to change, right? Yeah. But in society, like, th are there people like this? Mm. Okay. Definitely. How do how do they change? <clears throat> do they just all of a sudden change? No. Like, oh, Jim Barron, yeah, sure, here you go. Here's a wonderful guy. You're a wonderful person. Here, here's a loan. It doesn't work. That that's a, a magical situation. Unfortunately, in oppression, the only things we can really change are where we are at in that moment. We can change ourselves. Now, not everybody is in the same place that Jim Barra as a character is, whether it becomes family history, uh, uh, immigration history, racial, uh, demographic, all of those things. What we're doing is exploring what are the possibilities 